Raman Agashan. I'm a VP of products here at Rubrik. Been with the company for the past three years, and I've seen some of you because I was at Cisco for many years before that. Um, but in terms of what what we kind of what are we seeing in the market, and what's really the problem statement and opportunity here broadly at large? The businesses are under attack. I mean, name it like the Scripps website to Okta. All of us read about the same set of things. So I'm not going to throw any stats at any of you, your practitioners, so you live this. But at the core of it, the premise of infrastructure security, broadly speaking, including identity, access, user level security, is an essential part and it's just existential. And there's no way to uh, elaborate that rather than saying, yep, there are three facets of it call it loosely a prevention, detection, investigation, with a set of tools. All of these have become part and parcel of how you prevent and contain a problem. But what do we see? We see this picture always play out, despite all of it. The attacks are happening, and really everybody goes after the target crown jewel data, which is what the business runs on. I think this, protection or lack of protection for the data, despite all of this investment, is what we believe is the combined opportunity set. So as Soham said it, this combined picture of infrastructure plus data security, and we're gonna talk through three uh, specific facets of data security. This is again, our point of view on how we think about the market and the capability set. First is around data resilience. Second is about observability from a data perspective. You've heard about security observability much more analyzing syslogs and um, other event systems to observe what's going on. But what we are talking about here is from the point of view of a data, based on what the data can tell you, what are, what are anomalies in the data from an encryption perspective or a sensitive data perspective, or what type of malware IOCs do you see in this system? are the facets of things that we believe is that second pillar of data observability. And the last is, how do you efficiently contain the threat, point to a right version of data which is integral and can be rolled back without reinfecting? I think that's the third facet of what we talk about as data recovery. For us, that's the combined picture of what we believe is a zero trust security architecture in the enterprise, protecting the data at the core of it. So just a little bit, right? I think, bear with me for a, a marketing slide, but these three pillars, you know, if we ask it as a what if question, I think that each one has a distinct answer. Imagine for data resilience, now you can completely say, this is where Josh is going to double click into our immutable uh, first copy architecture and what is at the core of it, the first pillar, pretty much every enterprise workload that runs every company is being protected by Rubrik. This includes every on-prem database, file share, VM, things in the cloud with respect to cloud native VMs, cloud uh, databases. And now with our M365 solution, the SaaS app. So the data resilience scope is not just on-prem, it is that combined portfolio that we have. Really on the second piece on observability, there are three facets that we do target right now. First is everything has a double extortion risk, every attack. So can you identify proactively in the context of an attack, what kind of sensitive information is being compromised or who has accessed it is a critical piece that the data can alert you on proactively. The second is early on, I mean, all of us know that dwell times are in the hundreds of days at times, but what type of changes do you see between two snapshots? or the rate of encryption changes, file extension changes, name it, types of specific ransomware strain specific changes that you see in the data. These are things that we have the rich history that Soham talked about that we are able to pull out and give you. And the last is really on hunting. Like can you targetedly go and look for a particular IOC or a pattern before you roll back or on an ongoing basis, can you do that in your system? so that these things can be proactively done rather than just in an IR situation. These facets of things in observability are things that we have a unique vantage point and that's what we've built up. The last is backup is no use without recovery. 
So there are very many flavors of granular options for recovery, everything from a single VM to mass recovery of workloads and really orchestrated at a application level. So it has got the entire context of every configuration and blueprint for an application that we can recover at. How do you overlay that with the ability to contain threats? This is the third piece that our recovery story gives. So just to frame this up, I'm not gonna drain this slide, across these three pillars is how we think about our entire product capability set. And